Every person on this planet has a certain ability that sets them apart from the rest. Some learned about it in their early years, while others learned about it in their later years. These ambitions can be realized with the correct education and investment in the form of learning and skills. At one point in time, a billionaire wasn't talked about at all, and it took generations to accumulate such a large fortune. Many people throughout the world have, however, been able to do so in less than 30 years, since the advent of the digital revolution. So today, we will talk about the top 10 youngest billionaires around the world. Number 10. Baiju Bot. Bot served as the co-CEO of Robinhood Markets, a commission-free trading platform, until November 2020, when he discreetly stepped down. He owns an 8% stake in the company, which went public in July with a market capitalization of $32 billion. Bot co-founded Robinhood in 2013 with Vlad Tenev, who is currently the CEO and is just missing out on Forbes' 400 list. For all intents and purposes, selling customer orders to larger trading businesses like Citadel Securities is Robinhood's primary source of revenue. Contrary to common belief, the company paid $135 million in fines to FINRA and the SEC last year to mostly settle charges of misinforming customers and locking them out of their accounts during downtime. Number 9. RJ Scaringe after his company, Rivian, was valued at $27.6 billion in January 2021, and Amazon, Ford, and T. Rowe Price led a $2.5 billion funding round in July, bringing its total funding to $10.5 billion, all before it has delivered a single electric car to customers. Scaringe makes his first appearance on the list. According to the company, production of the R110 electric pickup truck began in September, following by the R1S SUV. Number 8. Fred Ursum Ursum co-founded Coinbase Global in 2012 and left in 2017. However, he retained roughly 6% of the company's equity, which accounted for the majority of his wealth. In 2018, he co-founded Paradigm, a cryptocurrency investment business with stakes in dozens of companies, including Coinbase and FTX. Number 7. Scott Duncan Duncan and his three older siblings each bought a stake in Enterprise Product Partners, a pipeline company, after their father Dan Duncan died in 2010. Its stock has recovered slightly from a sharp dip in 2020 when oil prices fell, but it still lags behind pre-pandemic levels. Or so they thought. Number 6. Nathan Blackarksik Airbnb, for example, went public in December in what was possibly the best IPO of 2020, with a valuation of more than $100 billion on its first day of trade, which is a big sum of money. Contrary to popular belief, the company's second quarter revenue of $1.34 billion was up around 300% year over year since the outbreak began. Lekarczyk, Chesky, and Gebbia, all of whom are now 40 years old, co-founded the vacation rental company in 2008. In August, Airbnb announced that it will provide practically free temporary housing to 20,000 Afghan refugees, a significant number. Number 5. Brian Armstrong Armstrong is the CEO of Coinbase Global, and when he launched the crypto exchange public in a big way in April with a direct listing, his 19% stake became truly worth 11 figures. He essentially blasted the Securities and Exchange Commission in a September Twitter thread, revealing that the regulator threatened to sue Coinbase if the company launched a crypto lending feature and accusing the SEC of being the only regulator who refused to meet with him when he visited Washington in May. Or so they thought. Coinbase eventually scrapped its intention to launch the lending product under the radar. Number 4. Lucas Walton Walton is the grandson of Walmart's founder, Sam Walton, as well as the son of John Walton, who died in a plane crash in 2005. He inherited a third of his father's money and, contrary to popular belief, is the chairman of the Walton Family Foundation's Environment Program Committee. He contributed $360,000 to Joe Biden's presidential campaign and its essentially shared fundraising organizations in 2020. Number 3. Sam Bankman Fried in September, he essentially declared that FTX's headquarters would be moving from Hong Kong to the Bahamas, where there is, or so they felt, far more regulatory certainty around crypto trading. Despite common belief, the exchange is gradually gaining a household name, particularly among crypto newcomers. This summer, FTX patches may be seen on the umpire's uniforms at Major League Baseball games, and his company paid $135 million for the naming rights to the Miami Hearts basketball arena in May, contrary to popular opinion. Number 2. Dustin Moskowitz 
Asana, which Moskowitz co-founded with Facebook co-worker Justin Rostenstein in 2008, went public in September 2020 in an almost straight listing, and shares more than tripled in the year that followed in a subtle fashion. Moskowitz controls nearly a third of the $18 billion market value company, but the majority of his net worth is still related to an estimated 2% investment in Facebook, or so it was assumed. Number 1. Mark Zuckerberg in the 12 months ending June 30th, the ubiquitous social networking corporation surpassed $100 billion in revenue, lifting Zuckerberg's net worth by approximately $50 billion, and making him one of only eight centi billionaires on this year's Forbes 400. Although a judge dismissed the FTC's antitrust case against Facebook's acquisitions of Instagram and WhatsApp in June, the FTC filed an additional lawsuit in August. Which is extremely significant. The Biden administration has slammed Facebook for enabling anti vaccine propaganda to proliferate quietly on its platform. Some people become wealthy in a matter of years, while others may take a lifetime. The world is replete with young people who have amassed significant riches, some of whom have acquired their fortunes on their own, and others who have inherited their fortunes from their families. We hope you enjoyed today's video. Please share your thoughts. Give us a like and subscribe to our channel, District 10 TV, for more videos like this. Thank you for watching, and see you in our next video.